What is going on everybody? It's Ryan with Tundra4x4.club and today we're going over a viewer spotlight. Let's do that now. If this is your first time here, as always, I would like to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can see every time we do a video. In this new segment, we're gonna be going over your rides, that's right, the viewers on this channel when we get a chance to meet up and take advantage of that opportunity. And this week, we have something special for you. We're gonna be meeting with Brandon. If you guys do not know who he is, you definitely know his truck and hopefully are a fan of him on Instagram. It is Tundra452. Let's take a look at this beautiful Tundra. As I said on this channel, we want to try to meet up with as many of you Tundra viewers as possible, come out here, do some four-wheeling, and get some video captured. And today is no different. We're here with Brandon. Brandon, thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you guys probably know him, as I said in the intro. On Instagram, he is Tundra452. And I'm telling you, I love your Instagram page, all the things that you do with this truck. He goes down to Mexico. He's got all sorts of cool pictures. So make sure that you check out that Instagram page and follow him there. So as you can see, there are a lot of upgrades going on with Brandon's Tundra. We're gonna go over those now and kind of, you know, your philosophy on, on why you did the install and maybe even tell us about your favorite install, maybe one that uh, has been frustrating because we all have those. Uh, but let's start it off. Tell us, uh, why don't you tell us about your suspension? Uh, so um, I went with the King coilovers, uh, the 2.5s. Um, honestly, the only reason I picked these is my favorite color is blue. Okay. Um, there's a lot of other good options out there. Um, Fox makes a great one. They're all really expensive. But, um, Bill Stein has a great option, the 6112, which you know. Yep. I was very debating getting that one, but like I said, blue is my favorite color, so that's one I went with. Um, I like it. It looks nice and clean as well. What kind of wheels are you running? So I went with um, Method Grid. It's a 18-inch wheel with a 18 by 9 so I really like the method mesh they had before, but they just came out with this newer version. It was a gray wheel. I thought it was, thought it was something kind of different instead of the black on white. For sure. And I see you're rocking those Toyo Open Country RTs. How are those performing for you? Yeah. So far, they've been phenomenal. I went with the 35-inch tire because it's a little better for off-road. Um, definitely doesn't help the gas mileage, but... Um, <laughs> But it definitely looks clean on this truck. As you guys can see here, this truck looks absolutely clean, almost like a, a sleeper you out of the blue. Now, I do know that you just had a new upgrade that you installed this past week, and tell me a little bit about that. After maybe two years of driving with the King Shocks, I feel like the front end kind of sagged down a little bit in the front. Um, so I have the coil overs, I can just turn the coil and give it a little more lift. So as I did the lift, I figured I might as well throw on the up control arm, added strength, hopefully, you know, a little better travel and um, a smoother ride for off-road. So I just added the camber uniball uh, upper control arm. And so far, so good. Awesome. Recently, another add-on that I did is the RCI front skid plate. Um, as you guys, Tundra owners know, you have to remove the whole skid plate in order to change the stupid oil filter. So um, that was uh, the main reason for me to uh, buy the skid plate and also better protection for if, you know, I hit something uh, while I'm off-roading. Now, one of the cool things that I, I noticed, especially I, when I saw some of your stuff on Instagram, is you are running that ARB uh, uh, onboard air system. Uh, can we take a look at that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So as somebody that's a fan of ARB and plan on putting the air locker system on uh, the Tundra 4 Project Tundra, I will tell you, one of the things that's blown my mind is the the inability to get one of those mounting brackets. Okay, as Brandon just said, he's a, he's a fabricator, right? And he made this bracket and we really need to dive into that right now. So let's take a look and he, maybe he can just walk us through, you know, how he came up with this design because it's genius. Okay, so I kind of looked around in the engine bay where I wanted to mount it. Um, and this kind of was my best location, you know, still out of the way of the air box. And uh, I didn't really need to get to these fuses or whatever's in there, so I decided to make them out right over the top of it. Still, the hood can close, um, fairly sealed, you know, in the engine bay. Um, there's existing bolts from the back right into the firewall, and then there's an existing bolt right down at the bottom. So I kind of just started off with cardboard, made myself a little template, and um, came up with this design and it mounts right in here and it's been there for about a year, no problems. So truth be told, the, the crazy thing is Brandon and I actually met through Instagram. And uh, you know, we both live in Southern California 
and it was kind of just an impromptu like hey let's go and meet up and head out to the desert so this weekend we are in Ocotillo Wells uh, we've spent the last couple days just kind of milling about and doing some wheeling I'm gonna show you some of that footage now but I will tell you that I have not been out to this location in several years Brandon this is probably one of your hot spots would you say yeah, definitely. It's only about an hour away from my house, so uh, I can make a quick trip or usually tow the trailer out for a full weekend and uh, still have a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are aware already that we have the new shirts. They're in. Keep calm and tundra on. Brandon, I want to present you with this shirt. This is going to be the first one handed out of the new t-shirt design here. Keep calm and tundra on. Brandon, thank you so much for coming awesome. out with us. I also have some stickers for you and uh, just want to thank you very much for coming out. Let's go do some wheeling and have some fun. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, thank you. What an amazing weekend. Brandon, thank you for coming out. Folks, before you do anything tonight, make sure you go onto Instagram, start following Brandon at Tundra452. Brandon, I will go wheeling with you any day of the week. Hit that subscribe button down below because you never know when we'll catch you on the back roads.